In this video, I'm going to show you how to add AI-generated dynamic captions to your videos using Camtasia. For this, you'll need the latest version of Camtasia, as this is a new feature starting with Camtasia 2024. If you don't have access to the latest version, I have a link in the description below that will give you 10% off any Camtasia purchase, subscription, or upgrade. Let's get into it. But first, if you want to learn more about Camtasia, I live stream every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube. I show you how I make my videos with Camtasia and I answer any questions you have live. You don't have to be a channel member or be subscribed to my channel to join. My live streams are open to anyone. But if you do subscribe, you'll be notified when I post new videos or when I'm about to go live. So I hope to see you Tuesday. And now back to this video. Okay, dynamic captions, brand new in Camtasia 2024. Let me show it to you. Uh, so I've got a sample project. This is Camtasia 2024. Uh, and actually, let me just bring in a piece of uh, media here. Let me bring in a video. Uh, it's just a quick little one-minute video, uh, a trailer that I made for one of my live streams. Okay, here it is. Time for my weekly live stream on... Okay, so it's just a short little video. And now what I'm about to show you will work on imported videos like this. Uh, as well as videos you, you create within Camtasia or record uh, within Camtasia, the, the audio. So whether it's audio from a video like this or audio that, you, that you've recorded directly into Camtasia, what I'm about to show you will work either way. To add dynamic captions to this, it's super simple. All you have to do is go up here to the left side menu and down towards the bottom you see this captions tab. That's actually new if you're on Camtasia on a Mac, uh, like I am, uh, but it did exist before in the Windows version, and that's because the, the regular subtitling system in Windows was in this uh, tab. Um, but for Mac, it's, uh, it's new. So what, what you do is you're gonna click on this, and then you're gonna see dynamic captions here. Now, again, on, on a PC, you'll have two tabs at the top, and you may have to switch over to the, the tab that's for dynamic captions, okay? And it might even be on the right side for Windows, I believe. Not too sure. But uh, anyways, here are all the styles. There, there's several styles preloaded. And you can drag this down a little bit and scroll to see what they are. Um, you can choose any of these to start with. And then you can modify them uh, a whole bunch of different ways. So here it is. What you do, so let's choose, I don't know, let's choose this one here to add the dynamic subtitles to this video and have them automatically transcribed, have the text automatically transcribed in your video, just click this here and drag it down to your timeline. Now it's gonna to have to go on its own track and you want it on a track above the audio or the voiceover that you're transcribing. And as soon as you let it go, you can see it starting to work down here. Boom, it's done. It's all transcribed. And now if we play it, just released today, I've broken down the new features in the... Isn't that cool? Now I purposely did not put this right back at the very beginning and that's just to demonstrate to you what you can do here. So you can move this, you know, wherever. If, it, if you just have it start here, channel. So thank you for that. The link in the description. That's where it's gonna start and you can shorten it over here on this end. You can click. So if we want the entire thing to be subtitled, drag it all the way over to the, the beginning and stretch it out to the end, and it's all gonna be there. Join me today at 1 p.m. Eastern time for my weekly live stream. Super cool. <laughs> okay, so, and just a, a, just a, you click and drag and let it go, and the magic happens. Um, so now, a couple things I wanna show you. Let's say you don't want them at the bottom of your screen, okay? No problem, you can click on the canvas and you can move them wherever you want, okay? Not only that, but let's say you don't want one line. Maybe you want two lines. Just click this and drag it down, okay? It doesn't resize the text. It adds more space for multiple lines. And I think you can have, I think maybe 10 lines. And if you just click play. I'm on editing videos for YouTube using Camtasia. It, it, it goes all the way through. Um, all the timing is in there and it's just like magic. It's super cool. You can also uh, decrease the width Okay, so maybe you only want a couple of words shown, maybe just one line like this. This is kind of common for, um, you know, YouTube shorts or TikTok style videos like this. Today's show will be all about the new Camtasia 20. All right, so that's that. Now, you can also split this up. 
Okay, so let's say we wanted uh, subtitle or captions for the first few words. Join me today at 1 p.m. Eastern time for my weekly live stream on editing videos for YouTube using Camtasia. Okay, let's stop it there. I'm going to press the S key to split that. Okay, and now let's click this and drag it over. So now it's going to stop there. Live stream on editing videos for YouTube using Camtasia. Today's show will be all about the new Camtasia 20. Okay, nothing there. 14 categories and I'm going to tell you all about And then it just picks it right up. So it doesn't matter where you slide it to. The timing is not really in like like the the transcription and the timing of the transcription is not really in this track, track number 2. The only thing that's in track number two really is the style, okay, which you can modify over in the properties panel. And I'll get to that in just a second. Um, let me just undo this and get it back to that, that state there, okay. Something else I want to show you down here. Let's say a mistake was made in the transcription. So it's not always perfect. And uh, if the audio is not super clear, maybe it'll make more mistakes. The more clear the audio is, uh, just based on the engine that's being used to do this, uh, the better the transcription will be, okay? So, but if you ever have to go in and make edits, you don't do anything, you might think, okay, well, how do I, where do I see this? I can't, I can't edit in here, right? What you do is you click on the track below where the audio is, and as soon as you do, all of the text shows up here. And you can drag this up here if you want to see it more. And then, yeah, where it, look, wherever you click to, it goes right to that spot. And if you click play now, or just released today. I've broken down the new features into like that. Okay, so you can click in here and change. Uh, let's see if there is any mistakes that I can show you to change. The new features into 14 categories. That was a mistake right there. It should be into 14 categories. The new features into 14 cat. Okay, so into. Let's double click that. Type in the new word into. Into 14 categories. And in fact, I probably want that into is one word. Now I haven't figured out how to show how to combine two words into one. I don't know if you can just yet. So, but the way around that is to delete one word, and then in here we'll just type in two as one word. Okay, it does add a little bit of a space there. Okay, in fact, in this case, I might want to delete it there and put it there. It's less noticeable in in the uh, in the text. Let's watch that release today. I've broken down the new features into 14 categories and I'm going to... Okay, like that. So you can edit that. Not only that, but if you want to change the style, so watch this. Let me just take this and move it out of the way. And let's grab another style. Bring this down and drop it in place. Notice it did not have to work to transcribe again because that was already done. All I've done now is put another style over top of uh, the audio track and it's the audio track that contains all the text. Okay, so that edit that we did right here, I've broken down the new features into, that edit's still there. Whoops, sorry, let me press play. I've broken down the new features into 14 cat. Okay, let's just highlight this and play that again. Down the new features into 14 categories and I'm gonna tell you all about them. Like that. So you can change out styles um, after you've done your edits and your edits won't be lost. They're maintained. So that is awesome. Now let me show you what you can do with styles. So I'm going to delete this one and move this one back on top. Okay. In fact, I didn't have to do that. Let me just control Z and back up. Let's put them both here. Okay. Now we've got both styles. The new Camtasia 2024 just released. Okay. So you can have multiple styles at one time. Uh, I'm not sure why you might want to do that, but who knows? Uh, you can if you need to. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and delete this one. And then we're just dealing with this style here. Down the new features into 14 categories. Okay, now let's get into the properties. So just I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. So we're working with a little bit more uh, text. So I can demonstrate this to you. Now let's go over here with... With the uh, uh, dynamic captions clip highlighted, come over here to the properties and okay, right off the bat, you can change the text, okay? You can change the font, all right? And uh, obviously, uh, you know, bold, light, regular. Uh, this is where you change the font size, okay? 
And notice how dynamic it is. As you increase the size, there's not enough room for all the text that was there, so it automatically gets adjusted. Okay, let's just play that. 14 categories, and I'm going to tell you all. All right. Um, you can change other things like the stroke. Okay. The stroke is the text around, or sorry, the stroke is the color around the text. And you can change the color of the stroke to, uh, you know, any color you want, just like that. Okay, notice the stroke uh, did not change around the highlighted text, because that's down a little bit further. Uh, and the opacity of the stroke, you can change. If we scroll down a little bit more, you can, you can modify the vertical spacing. Well, the vertical spacing won't do anything because we only have one line. Um, the horizontal spacing. Okay, so now if we go down a little bit further, uh, dynamic caption highlighting per word. So you can highlight each word or you can turn the highlighting off. Okay, the highlighting, that's just the background color, that blue color that was there. So you can turn that off or if it's on and it's per word, then you can change the fill color. Okay, you can do that. Uh, the opacity of the fill color. Let me just back up some of these changes that I made. Go back to something a little less dramatic. Let's see what that looks like. 14 categories and I'm gonna tell you all about them and share. Okay, so now let me just back this up a bit. So I wanna show more, I wanna show more text on in each line. So I'll make the, the text font smaller. Let's bring the stroke size down. Okay. Okay. So now let's go back to dynamic captions. I want to show you the word opacity. Okay. Future and past. This is super cool. So if you don't want people to start reading ahead of where you are in, in, the, uh, uh, in the transcript, you can actually lower the opacity of the words before and after the highlighted word. So word opacity, future, if you turn future down, it, it lowers the opacity of all future words, okay? And past lowers the opacity of the past words, okay? So if you want them to dis disappear after they're highlighted, you turn that all the way down to zero, okay? But I think this is probably a cool effect here. So they're just, uh, you can just see what's going to appear. Let's just play that for you. I'm going to tell you all about them and share my screen. To Super cool, okay? And uh, now... The word background, so I've got that set to blue, so you can change that to another color if you want. Okay, and you can change the opacity, you can change the scale, okay, maybe you only want it small like that. Um, you can change the radius, that's like the corner rounding, okay, and the time, basically whether it, it switches words smoothly or more abruptly. All about them and share my screen to demonstrate them to you. I'll also... Okay, notice that's a little smoother because I increased the time. If you turn that all the way down, it'll be more abrupt. As best as I can. Just type... Okay, I like there to be a little bit of time there. And now if we scroll down even further, under advanced, we have easing. So let's turn that up. So you can see, you can see how... Uh, everything is changing as we, you can basically play with all these properties and get something that's super dialed in and unique to whatever you're looking for. And you can use your brand colors to match, uh, you know, the, uh, the brand of your video. Um, scale, you can change the scale of the highlighted word. So this is all for the highlighted word. So maybe you want the highlighted word to pop out more. Okay. And then maybe you want it to glow a little bit. Okay. If you have it hot pop out like that, you probably want to increase the scale of the background as well. Okay, maybe that's too much on the glow. All right, and then and then a background. You can add a background to everything like that. Okay, and you can give it a radius, corner rounding. Okay, I'll leave that off for now. Okay, and then there's transitions. You can have different transitions, okay? It's all kinds of things you can do here, like a card flip transition. Let's see what that does. So those are transitions between captions. So and a caption could be several words, right? That that might be a bit uh, uh, a bit much. I think I'll leave that off. Um, all kinds of things you can play with. And once you have this dialed in to what you want. 
So let's say that's what we want. And let's say we want to make that the captions we use on a, you know, future videos as well. You don't want to have to go through all those properties every time. So yes, you can save this uh, a couple of different ways. Um, first, the easiest thing to do, if you go back up to the top in the properties, click this plus icon right here and give your preset a name. So you can add a dynamic caption preset. So let's just say uh, um, Rob's test. Okay, and click OK. What that does, if you come over here, and let's just extend this down here, right here, Rob's test. It gets listed or added to this list of dynamic caption styles, and this list is alphabetical. Okay, let's say you get a whole bunch of them may, uh, put in here and you don't want to always have to scroll down to find it. Well, then what you can do is you can click this little star, right? And now that adds it to your favorites. Click on your favorites and then lo and behold, there it is. Your caption style is saved to your favorites. Okay, awesome stuff. What you can also do, uh, particularly if you want to say share these styles with somebody else who might be working on your projects on another machine, uh, you can come down here and right click and then click on add to library and uh, you can give it a name. So Rob's test word box. Okay, and save it to Rob's library. All right, and we'll click add. There you go. So now we can find it in my library. Okay, click here, go to Rob's library, and there it is right there. And we can click and drag it down, and there's another copy of it. Not that you would want two copies on the same video, but that's how you do that. Do you want more tips like this? Let me know in the comments below, or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.